original bench work piece here approximately ends here six feet long it's pretty well solid and mounted now we've already begun to assemble or clamp into place the balance of the bench work that will finish it out to close up the gap to here at the far end to do that we start with about a three foot piece approximately this is just a simple rectangle of bench work one cross piece that's clamped to the original bench work here on the far end here we have another chunk of bench work and this one had these two legs kind of sticking out of the far end and one end of the bench work here is clamped to the original bench work and it's fastened clamped here and here to this three foot piece which is supported again at its temporary height by this leg now, the layout on the original bench work and this bench work for the most part is just a sheet of plywood topped by homosote so we want this bench work and this bench work naturally to form a smooth surface across this gap so while clamping everything into place and checking it with level of course we've checked the level on the back side here and that looks good we've also used the big level to verify the uh, the level or the, or the the alignment between the cross piece here this cross piece where the two sections of bench work join and this piece make sure that everything is going to be nice and smooth so when we get two separate pieces of plywood up here it's going to form one smooth level likewise we come up to the front side here and make sure that that's all nice and smooth and level across there never hurts to check these things more than once now on this part we've got a little something uh, different that we might be doing here that we'll take a look at this is the short three foot piece of bench work this is the extension that fills the gap it's dropped down like this because while the track level for most of the town up here is on this plywood the scenery has to come a little bit lower here so from here on out it'll be on risers and uh, subroad bed now we could just screw all of these directly into the wall but because we want this part of the layout and the part supported by the lower section to in effect be one section of bench work we're going to go ahead and join these with a little quarter inch plywood gusset that'll get screwed and glued between these two pieces we'll also do that here on the front and that in effect makes this into one piece of bench work all right, we have the uh, gussets installed on both sides here. So this is nice and strong. We've taken the clamps off there. Now nothing, it's not screwed to the wall yet, nor is it uh, fastened permanently. We still have this temporary support here. But start checking everything. The back we've verified is good with the levels on both, the, both components here. And we'll start checking the front and front edge has to come up a little bit but before this gets adjusted we know the back is okay where it is on the wall and we know both ends are, are properly positioned as far as a connection with the, the deck with the, the upper deck we installed and the other end that was already installed so I'm going to go ahead and screw this po portion to the upper deck the back wall and the other end too and then we'll make the final adjustments on the front when that's finished. Both pieces of the new deck here are uh, screwed into the back wall, good and strong that way, but now we've got to make the final adjustments for level on the front. So we call on our level again. And once again, I'm using the little uh, uh, chunk of uh, 1 8 inch wood shim on the back so that I can do the preload to raise the front somewhat and I can see it's got to come up a little so I've got among other things a little shim of wood to put in there and the bubble it's not quite all the way so slide a couple other pieces of wood in there pieces of cardboard and now we're pretty darn close so we can commence to install the uh, support 
brackets on the back just like we did before in the rest of the lay of the uh, bench work. Because the bench work here is a little bit different with this gusset plate and the additional piece of bench work down below, we had to modify this gusset. Uh, we just took the curved part off the bottom. You know, it used to come out like this. We just cut that off, shim this out to be able to fit over this gusset, and it will bolt on like that just fine. And this is one of the beauties of this system, is you can modify these according to fit any situation. All right, that's the last of the uh, bracket screws. We can take off our quick grips clamps here. Good a time as any to see if this is going to work. It didn't collapse. It didn't even collapse a little bit. This looks good. Seems pretty sturdy. So far, so good. Final step here is taking out our original leg. Oh. We get down there and eyeball it. Everything looks flat like it's supposed to. So far, so good. This may actually work. Now, one of the reasons that we have these relatively low profile um, brackets here, which only come a few inches into the layout space, is because most of the layout here is going to be covered with the city area. And there's going to be buildings, industrial flats, and so on back here, and possibly another track rising up right against the wall in the back going to the uh, logging area. Now, if, for example, your layout has mountains here or the, the, the tracks are higher up or out front. Nothing says you can't take another piece of brace, for example. It doesn't have, this is a piece of three-quarter scrap that happened to be laying here. But you can take another piece of bracing. You can just use a strip a quarter inch, put a block up here against the wall, screw it in down here just to add more, you know, leverage support out here. There's, there, there's all kinds of ways that you can adapt this to fit your special situation. So um, this looks like a pretty successful start on a good portion of our double deck layout. I hope you've enjoyed it, and you might find a few little points and tips in here that are interesting and useful. Thanks for watching.